Hey, welcome, 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 all you Security Plus preppers. My name is Colin Weaver. These are the IT Dojo Security Plus questions of the day. Every single day, I'm going to come at you with two brand new questions to help you continue on your studies for your Security Plus exam. So, let's go ahead and get to the first question. First question today coming at you from the world of mobility. Which of the following, and I want you to pick three, are most likely to be security features that you'd find integrated into a mobile device? Click on pause, give those a read. When you're ready, click play, and I will answer them for you, or answer it for you. All right, best answer choices you are looking for here. GPS tracking, the ability to know where somebody is because there's a GPS radio built into the overall majority of mobile devices that are out there. Second would be full disk encryption, uh, both iOS and Android go in and implement full disk encryption um, that's out there. And uh, the third answer choice would be a remote wipe feature. The capacity for you to be able to go in and say, okay, my junk is gone. I can actually see it through GPS tracking, traveling down the highway, and I know that I'm never going to get it back again because it now is in the possession of somebody else. So let me go ahead and wipe it to make sure that they don't stand any chance of getting any of the data back that's on it. So those are the three features that you would be looking for, at, th at least the three of the basic features you'd be looking for in a, uh, in a mobile device. And modern mobile devices have all three of those built in. So that's a good thing. All right, let's do question number two. Uh, you have a small amount of space in between two doors. And in order for the uh, inner door to open, the outer door must be closed and vice versa. What is this called? There's your answer choices. Click on pause if you need to, but click on play when you're ready and we can answer the question. All right, let's look at the answer choices. A turnstile is one of them spinny jobbies that you have to go through, and its specific intent is to limit the number of people that can pass through a particular area in a particular period of time. So, you know, go look at access to the metro station or access to some buildings. You have to go through a turnstile in order to pass into the facility or, or a lot of concert places and stuff like that. You all have to go through a turnstile. It's a mechanism of ingress and egress control. Next choice up there is a man trap. That's exactly what this is. So a small space in between two doors where one door is open, the other door cannot be opened, and vice versa. That's pretty much textbook definition of a man trap. Uh, the other answer choices on here are a firewall. I'm assuming they mean a network firewall, in which case, absolutely not. Uh, if it was a physical firewall like you might find in the stairwell of a building, uh, no, also not the correct answer that we're looking for here. It is not egress control. Um, although it can prevent you from egressing if something's not right uh, when you pass into the man trap. And uh, it's also not a bollard. A bollard is one of those uh, posts that's in the ground, typically um, um, either pneumatic or permanent, that goes in and prevents vehicles from you know, smashing through a particular area. Um, they can also kind of herd traffic in a particular direction, but they're really super there just to keep vehicles from going into and out of, uh, say, a gate when they're not supposed to or, or a particular area where they don't want vehicles. So best answer here, man trap. That's it. Two more questions done. That was quick and easy. Um, I do these questions every single day. Um, I was on a little break there for a little bit because things got super crazy at work. But I'm back now, and it'll be two a day. And the next time you get two, it'll be tomorrow. Peace.